Well, what's up America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, uh, I've got to eat a little crow today. I I'm, uh, did some commentaries uh, earlier on about the Sasquatches and uh, uh, aliens and uh, we're going to have to eat a little crow about that. Uh, and I'll explain to you why. Well, see, uh, I like to go fishing and uh, canoeing and I go back in the woods way 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 back miles and miles back in the woods where nobody else is at and because uh, I like a solitude like that well uh, a few days ago I was uh, canoeing on back in the river and I'd been back there about a couple of days back and uh, all by myself there was nobody uh, around and that's the way I like it and uh, I've been caught a few fish and and uh, coming up around the bend, and I look up on the bank, and that gummit, uh, to my surprise, there's two fellas sitting up there on the bank. And uh, I uh, uh, looked over there, and it was kind of far off, and uh, it, one of them was a big fella, and one was a little fella. And the uh, big fella was all hairy. And so uh, I come on up around there slowly and cautiously because uh, I didn't know what I was up against. And so uh, as I got closer, uh, the little fella, well, first the big fella tried to run away and the little fella calmed him down and had him sit back down. And, uh, and uh, then he uh, motioned to me to come on over there. And uh, so I was being cautious and everything. and. I uh, got my gun ready, and anyhow, uh, I was easing on over there, and uh, lo and behold, it's just like the uh, thought came into my mind like somebody was talking to me, and uh, tell the fappen or whatever you call it, and uh, so uh, this voice says, uh, we mean you no harm, uh, we want to talk to you, um, and uh, uh come on over and everything will be all right so i eased on over there i got up about 20 feet from him and i looked and dead gum a big old hairy fellow was about a he was sitting down but you could tell he's probably about eight feet tall and uh, and the little feller was an alien and he looked just like uh you see them pictures on the tv he was a little big eyes and all like that and he was uh, a thought talking to me and uh, he was telling me everything's going to be all right. And uh, he said, have you caught any fish? And uh, I said, yeah, I got a few. And then, lo and behold, the old big old hairy fella, he speaks to me in English. And he says, uh, would you mind sharing some of them fish with me? He says, I'm sure I'm hungry. We've been fishing all day. We ain't caught a thing. I said, sure, brother. Uh, what's your name? He said, uh, he said well, my name is... Uh, Billy Smalley. I said, okay, Billy. I said, uh, I'll come over and I'll give you some fish. I don't mind doing that. So I pulled my canoe on up on the bank and got out and uh, handed him over some fish. And uh, and uh, I says to the little alien fella, I said, uh, well, what's your name? And he said, uh, my name is Alien Spock and uh, Alan Spock. And I said, well, ha happy to meet you. I'm Jim Bob. He said, yeah, we know about you. We've been uh, we've been watching you for some time now. And uh, we like your commentaries. And so that's why we've been waiting for you out here. We won't talk to you because we've got some messages we want you to share with everybody. And I said, well, i got to tell you something, uh, uh, Alan. I said, I, I never did believe in no aliens. And uh, I always ask squatches either one. And uh, there you are, both of you, right together. And I said, the reason I never believed in uh, either one of you is because uh, cause, uh, you know, I figured if you were so intelligent, uh, like you aliens, it uh, would be intelligent and all that stuff, uh, that you wouldn't be afraid of uh, anybody and uh, people would see you just like I am now. And uh, in the Sasquatchy, uh, or the Bigfoot, I figured uh, sooner or later somebody would find one of the dead bodies somewhere or shoot him or something other and, and catch one and he said you just sit down here on the bank and uh, spend some time with us he said we'll explain it all to you and I said well all right then let's, uh, let's have a little conversation here and everything and I said you got any beer and he said uh, 
said, well, no, but I can make you some. I said, what? He said, yeah. He said, I got little pills here. Uh, I can make you up some beer. And uh, he, he, he took a little pill out of a pouch and they put some water on it and then gum it turned right into beer. I never seen nothing like it. It looked like uh, something off of the Jetsons at uh, a cartoon show. Anyhow, so uh, we had some beer and uh, uh, he, uh, the little uh, alien fella, he took the fish and uh, it's like um, uh, a fillet knife come right out of his finger and he filleted up the fish and like that. And he took another little pill out and he, and he poured some water on it and it turned into a stove. And then uh, started to cook in the fish right there on the bank. So we were cooking the fish and, and uh, talking and stuff. And so I said to him, I said, well, look, here. I said, how come it is that uh, if you guys are not uh, afraid of us, uh, why, why are you um, so hard to catch? And I said, come around in flying saucers and all this kind of stuff. And he said, oh, hell, he said, flying saucers. He said, that's, that's the... Uh, out now we don't do the flying saucers no more we just teleport wherever we want to go I mean that's an old technology he said that's how we get around now and he says the reason we don't hang around with the with the you humans is because you're so damn mean he said you kill everybody and we don't want you to be killing us uh, uh, even though we're superior to you we could stop it but you're just too damn mean you're an experiment that went wrong I said well yeah I could kind of see how that could be I said, well, what about old uh, Bigfoot over there, old Billy? I said, uh, how come there ain't no uh, bones and stuff around in the bodies or anything like that? And he said, well, that's easy. He said, uh, the reason you never found uh, Billy nowhere is because what we do is we bring Billy down for a few days experiment. He's going to uh, take over the earth after you humans uh, uh, deplete all your resources and everything. And, uh, the global warming kills you all off. Um, old Billy and his uh, kind are going to be the only people walking on the earth. I said, well, and that makes sense. In other words, you're telling me that every night you teleport him up and you just have him down here for a few days. He said, yeah, that's right. That's how we do it. In fact, I'm fixing to take him back on up today. I said, well, how about that? I said, um, you know, I, I never uh, realized that. I said, uh, is there another uh, bigger alien up there, like a uh, alien in charge? He said, yeah, there's a, a big alien, and uh, some people call him God. And uh, he's in charge of the whole thing. And uh, he got some uh, messages for you to send on back to the people and everything. And I said, okay. So anyways, uh, we drank some beer, and we ate some fish, and we camped out overnight. And uh, uh, got up in the morning, and he said, okay. He said, uh, we're going back now. And uh, we'll, uh, you, you need to go on back too and we'll and tell the people what we got to say. And I said, well, what are you, is, is your words for the people? And he said, well, it's just a really simple thing. I said, uh, you tell the people this. If they hate, hate will breed hate. And if they love, love will breed love. So choose wisely. So that's what the alien told me, and then the next thing I know, both of them just vanished into thin air. They was gone. So I got on in the canoe, and I come on back out in a few days. I was back on out, and here I am uh, making my commentary to you. So uh, there is the Sasquatches, and uh, there's one of them, and there is a one alien, and there ain't no more spaceships. They're all out. That's uh, old technology. So that's uh, Jim Bob's commentary for today. And uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Jim Bob is out.